What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back with another video. I've been gone for so long and I apologize I've been gone for so long, but I've just been working two jobs. Today, I was just online checking prices because I was getting ready to get excited for Drive Club on the PlayStation 4. I go on the PlayStation Store and I see that it's $49.99. There are some benefits of being a PlayStation Plus member. Right now, if you pre-order, you get the day one edition of drive club i'm sure you're gonna give you some extra stuff i didn't really look into that my apologies but one thing i noticed is that the price for the digital version of drive club is 49.99 so whether you want to go digital save ten dollars or you want to go for the disc 59.99 that's all on you let me know how you feel about digital versus physical one thing i noticed when i was checking prices i went on the gamestop.com and I notice the first thing they are advertising to you when you go on the GameStop.com is to apply for their Power Up Rewards credit card. Now we already knew that the credit card was coming out. GameStop was going to offer a credit card to their customer base. That's fine. You can do that. Let's go ahead and talk about the Power Up Rewards credit card. So when you do apply and if you're approved, this is what you will get when you are good for that Power Up Rewards credit card. You get 15,000 bonus points if you're a Power Up Rewards Pro member, and 5,000 bonus points if you're a Power Up Basic member. 15,000 points it is worth $15. So even if you get 15,000 points, that's not enough to even get $20 off on their catalog. Keep that in mind. You can use your credit card to shop in store or online. So that tells me that it's only proprietary to GameStop. We don't know if you can use it in a you know department store or grocery store. Get some gas with this thing. Who knows? Uh, you get more information on our limited day one credit card. So when you click on it, you're gonna get a dark gray day one edition credit card. Wow, amazing! You get to choose to pay in full or make monthly payments over time, just like you would any other credit card. Wow, exclusive cardholder offers. So who knows that what that could be? That could be get five dollars off your next purchase or get ten dollars more on your next trade-in who knows that's the kind of crap they pull and of course no annual fee now the kicker is that your APR for this power up rewards GameStop credit card is 26.99 percent it's probably one of the highest APRs I've seen why is GameStop doing 27 percent for APR I don't understand it if they could explain why 27 percent then I guess then whatever but man that's pretty high now in my mind when I go into a GameStop store not only am I gonna be hearing the trade message not only am I gonna hear about the sales is going on that week not only am I gonna get a piece of paper in my hands about a console or a game that I already have or a season pass that I don't want now when I'm at the counter and I'm ready to purchase my item not only they're gonna ask me hey did you have anything to trade in today? You guys buy and sell games. You guys take systems. You take consumer electronics such as iPhones. Fuck, you guys now take gift cards for cash or whatever. Like, now they're going to be like, hey, you have your GameStop credit card on you, don't you? No, I don't. Really? Well, if you haven't, we can go ahead and sign you up for this credit card. Like, it's just another thing to shove down all of our throats. What are your thoughts on this GameStop Power Up Rewards credit card? I do not recommend you applying for it. And the reason why is because the APR is crazy high. You can get an actual credit card from like Chase or from Mills Fargo or Capital One and be the APR will be a little bit lower, okay? So, I mean, why? It doesn't even make sense. If you do your research, you will get screwed. Big way. Don't do it. Go ahead if you don't mind. Go ahead and rate, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.